Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use scritchable variables to make something like a counter. I will make it like a coin collection so you can see how it's done and when I collect something like, I don't know, 10 coins, you can display a text, you can open a door, show a bridge or something like that. So let's prepare a scene. I have here an empty scene so i'm going to make a test plane i'm going to use the wolf light prefab and uh, let me also use the cine machine brain camera which is this one here and the main free look camera state let me remove the, the old one and I have something like this. Now let's create something like a coin. I don't know, maybe like a cylinder. And let's scale it down. Let's create an empty object and parent that cylinder to the empty object. Call it coin. Let's reset all of this and set is like point five, not point one. Yes, small coin. Remove the collider and let's set the layer to item. Yes. So I have a a material called a coin. I think coin material. Yes, it's a yellow material. Let me rotate this something like this. Minus 90. And now, since we have a coin, we have a, the animal. We can do this. We need to add a trigger enter behavior. And for the layers, I'm going to use the item layer. Sorry, the animal layer. So this figure enter will interact with the animal layer. And we will ignore colliders. Only hard colliders. We will ignore triggers. Sorry, only colliders. Now, what can we do? When we when the animal enter this trigger, which we need a collider for it set as trigger your collider what can we do we need to increase the amount of coins that we are gathering right so let's let me select the scene and add a scritchable variable scritchable variable into integer because we're going to on the one on i an integer value it's called coins coins let's debug it and when the animal enters this trigger we're going to increase by one great let's try this we go here let me select the the coin. You will see that the every time the animal enters the trigger, it will increase this value. So after we increase the value, we also need to destroy this coin. So we have script call it call it unity utilities that I use to instantiate, destroy, disable an uh, apparent objects using unity events. So after we increase the, the count, we need to destroy this game object. So go to destroy me. And this will be destroyed. Also, since this is an inscritable asset, the value won't change after we exit the play mode so 
how can we solve this we need to create a resetter reset coin amount so we add a resetter reset to scriptable variables we add the coin to zero and we're going to reset it on play mode and when we exit the play mode so let's try it again we go to the coin and the coin increases perfect we exit the coins go back to zero and if we go and add more coins you will see that the number increases perfect now let's display this in a ui on the game create a text let's change this to scale with scale with screen size let's change this to coins size add it to the top this will be the label and this one will be the amount amount it to zero and here on the change it here now we need to update this value every time we collect a coin so how can we do this we can listen to this value to this scriptable integer value so we add a listener listener integer listener we change this value to from constant to variable and add this coin value now on the events here we need to change this value from an integer value to a string value which is what we need here to show on the ui so thankfully i have a script called value to string so we add this to the li entire listener go to the function value to string and we convert that value to string value and this string value then we add it to the text to the text perfect now if we collect you will see the ui is also updated now let's do th something like if i collect eight coins i display the another text that says you want you want increase the size means to overflow here and set it here on the center of the screen something like this i don't know you want Perfect. Let's hide it and let's create another empty game object. You can create it here on the, the reset points, whatever you want. Label. Label activation. Now, what we can do is to add another listener, but instead of an entire listener, we're going to add an entire comparer which works exactly like the listener, but you can have more features like compare values. So let's change this to variable, add the coins, and if it's equal to eight, because I have eight coins equal to eight, I'm going to show the U1 label. So let's active this game object so, i collect the a coins you want perfect you can do something like i don't know show a a door open a door let's create something like a bridge here you can have animations to make it beautiful but let's do a simple Go and hide game object. 
hide it let's go to the one activation and if it's equal to eight let's show this cube too and let's collect the quick all the points you want and you have the bridge to go to the next level and that's it that's how you can use counters and listen to scriptable variables to make cool stuff on your games i'll see you on the next tutorial